Welcome back to Factorio C Block and TSM. I believe this is number 43 that we're up to, episode 43. Uh, we are in the main base area again. Um, I'm by a quickly rigged up um, explosives. I have actually used this before, but that was off screen. This time we will use it on screen because what we want to do is build a couple of these guys. And the reason being that I was in the process of trying to expand this. And you'll notice there is a very unfortunate cliff there. We don't like them that much, so we're going to introduce it to our bombs. Uh, what else was I in here for? I want to be able to make more of these guys. Uh, we're missing iron plates, of course. Huh. Hopefully soon I won't be able to say that. Now, if you remember where we were up to last time... Um, let me just get this on plate, so another five of those probably. Um, let's go quickly back and finish off what I had started. And then we will talk about uh, getting our iron ore manufacture online. <clears throat> Jump in our little train. Back out to, say, here. And we'll go, actually, we'll go up to about here. This is almost up to a workable state. Uh, let's turn our bots on. So that they can build the second. Um, so this is basically a depot of ours, which is going to hold empty and full trains. Um, if the bots can get round to... Yay, yay, there you go. Um, and actually that uses, so that uses 10 a time, okay. I might have to up the production of the explosives, but we do need sulfur for it as well, which... Is, well, it shouldn't be an issue at the moment. I think we're overproducing on sulfur in here. Uh, if I remember correctly, and can find where the sulfur... There it is, up here. Uh, 1k, that's right. It's actually dropped. So I have this wired up. Or if it drops below 1k, turn this guy on to help produce sulfur again. But I guess the signal is still above 1k. I actually didn't think it would drop down that far, but um, there you go. Uh, we need three supply stations here as well, it looks like. Um, I clearly need some better bots. But, um, although even finishing off this and getting our iron production up to something decent, and even though we've built out the blue science, we're still not really quite ready to engage blue science because we still, of course, don't have the cobalt. Um, are you, oh, you're completely out of those guys already, these ones. Gee. I'm not exactly sure where they all went, but um, never mind. Let's make some more. There we go. Kind of slow, but given how fiddly some of all these getting all these corners and things exactly right is. I'm quite happy for the bots just to do it for me this time. Got a sip of my wine while I watch. 
So the goal of this episode is basically to um, have the iron, and for that matter, copper, the basic iron and copper uh, running, because this doubles up as a source of copper. We're not, oh, we are actually out of rail. That is um, not what I was expecting. All right, do your silly thing. Um, we have a bit of space. We don't actually need to finish that though. Uh, let's come back to to here and see about getting this guy online. Because this is the stop for the mineral sludge. And I've completed this rung here. One of um, eight, I believe. So eight, well, 16 of these goes into three. Let's just see if uh, max rate calculator agrees with that. Uh, these don't have anything on them yet. So we're just crushing uh, sapphire. Nothing particularly outlandish there. Um, so let's try that again. Um, so it's basically, oh, that's items per second. Items per minute. Um, we're taking 9,000 mineral sludge in. It is making, that's the crushed sapphire. It's taking in um, 360 sapphire, or rather making 360, and we're consuming 540 in three machines. Is that right? So we actually only need two machines, and I've completely overstacked this. Um, let me check. Four seconds per one. And we have 16, so 15 by 16. Change this back to items per second. It says nine, if it takes four seconds. Uh, net rate. Well, there you go. My maths might be out of it. Perhaps we don't actually need this machine. In which case, let's try that again. In which case, we may have too many here as well. Um, Roll N. That's perfectly balanced. Okay, well, I think two of these means we only need two of these in theory. Net machines, no net machines. Yeah, two means two, so <clears throat> uh, four is enough for two, whereas I was thinking four was enough for um, one and a third. So we actually get rid of that and that and run with four of these stacks, um, which also suggests I was concerned I wasn't going to have enough room for uh, transferring this to one of the recipes where we are using... Um, like this one, where we're using the uh, hydro tech, put in an extra step with the, uh, not the ore sorting facility, but the step before it to make the chunks um, so that we get these six products. 
I wasn't going to have enough room for that, but uh, perhaps we actually will have enough room for that. Anyway, um, this looks like it is basically complete. Uh, obviously, we don't need you there. What about this one? You put that one there as well. Or crusher, or crusher, or crusher. They're not even Mark One, Mark Two. Um, coming out here is kind of a waste of time, but whatever. So the idea is this creates the crushed, uh, the sorry, the sapphire ore. The sapphire ore is crushed. It has two products that come out. Both of these products are put on this belt. The crushed stone is put here to be added to the output of the ore sorters. The ore sorters put these other three products out. Um, so we actually have four products in total. They're fed equally, theoretically, equally into these guys. And um, once in these guys, we um have one dedicated requester train stop for the iron ore and one that will do a multitude of purposes it will deal with the copper or deal with the slag at some point and it will deal with the crushed stone so that is the idea which means we need actually four of those requesters uh, so that's slightly unfortunate. Uh, one, two, one more. You guys are just wasting time. All of this landfill is here already. Okay, so let's start at the top then. We need to get mineral sludge in here, not whatever this, oh, that doesn't even exist. So we need to make those. We need to get more resources clearly, which, uh, yeah. <laughs> we will eventually get past this point where resources are so incredibly scarce. And of course, was the idea of this build. Um, come on, guys, just come back. What? Just whatever. These two are gonna take forever, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so let's head back to here. If we're going to be making these sorts of things, we need electronic circuits. Uh, we do still have some copper, so that's not such a big deal. Um, what about what we have here? Do we actually... Oh, we have this bit set up already. That's fine. We're going to need to be making trains very shortly as well. And I'm very happy to see where the uh, plasma turret research is. That may even finish in the not-too-distant future. So I'm going to need... Oh, uh, probably something like one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, something like that. And I'm going to need another one, another one of those. Um, we're short on engines, maybe I can grab some more engines while we're in the vicinity. Such things getting made. Um, let's take 50. Else, we should really need anything. All right. Holes, although I am running low on my medium electric twos. Still so many things that we need to get sorted, but um, 
We are making progress. Uh, let's get up here. Okay. So, um, the cider combinator. Now, what we want to do is wire up the both of these because they might empty in an uneven manner. And it's got nothing to do with charcoal. Uh, it's entirely mineral sludge that we're concerned with. Mineral sludge. Mineral sludge. If mineral sludge is less than, uh, these tanks are 150s. So, <coughs> that would be 300, or say even less than 250. We could. There's no reason not to get more mineral sludge if we're less than 250. Maybe allow a small... Leeway, so 240,000. Um, P is set to 1. Guessing we don't have a mineral sludge option here yet. Yes, we want a full train of mineral sludge. Should be a mineral sludge supply. Save. That would be fine, but I don't really want the activity on it. I guess um, I'm not entirely happy with Xscander, so let's change the name of Xscander. Um, I am actually a little bit surprised that that hasn't already ordered our train. Um... You are on automatic. Probably should have been ordered by that. Uh, we're going to change the name of Xscander anyway. Um, oh, we haven't put it in here, so of course you wouldn't be. Uh, just being silly. Xscander. All right. Um, this is... Uh, should I call it Sapphirite? I might call it iron ore mineral sludge, and I might even use the item equals iron ore. I'm not going to use mineral sludge as something though. Mineral sludge in. Because that's essentially what it is. Now, we were missing this bit up here. So let's get that happening. Now we've got a train coming. Um, have I signaled this? Yes, I have. So that train should be able to get all the way here. Where is it at the moment? It's doing a big loop because that's kind of necessary by this design. Um, but otherwise, that's fine. Let's head down here. Here comes the mineral sludge. I'm going to have to re-enable the trains down below. So these guys should now be working, right? Yes. All of them should, and this should be quite close to a full belt without actually being a full belt. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. And here we go, getting our first resources out. We should be getting to a point where this actually has to get to here. But um, so far, it hasn't. Here we go. Second one has started up now. And we should be getting a 
fairly even distribution of resources across these two um, items. With, yeah, it's not exactly even, is it? Hmm. There may be a need for some sort of equalization between the two, which is slightly irritating. Um, it is possible. 54 to 45, 62 to 13. Yeah, it's, it's not exactly working the way I wanted it to. Um, what we could do is use some stack filter inserters. And... I mean, it's quite a complex circuit to make this work. Not really what I want to waste my time on right now. We'll come back to it. So you're basically going to have uh, these guys, one of them, and you are going to need three. These guys are all going to get set to iron ore. We simply don't want anything else coming out. On the top. These guys, the filter will be set by whatever gets ordered here. We are going to need to make sure it's only one train at a time. Uh, let's do this one first because it's a little bit easier. So basically, what do these guys stack to? I think, I think in uh, Bob's Angels you get two hundred iron ore in a stack. Yes, you do. Um. So, we are going to need an empty iron ore train, which is why I built all of these extras. Um, this one here can become empty iron ore. Empty item equals iron ore. Over here, we are going to want um, iron ore supply, perhaps. Iron ore. And ore. Supply. At the moment, that's only one train. That may well not be enough, but um, we have that right now. So... What we will be doing is having the empty trains uh, come to work. That's silver. Where is iron? What's that? It's, oh, God. Nickel ore. There is an iron ore up there. Red. Bolt. Gold. There is no copper. Maybe these ones have actually been excluded. All right. We'll just use. We'll just use this one. Iron ore. Iron ore. So that one comes from empty iron ore. 
Uh, we want until full, not inactivity. And we also want an ability to um, actually get iron ore. So that would be an iron ore, iron ore. And we'd be calling the train from iron ore supply. Um, and again, probably want to get rid of the inactivity. Uh, so we need a train now to serve this purpose. Um, how are we going? Uh, we don't have anything here. So this will be uh, 200 in a cargo wagon. 2,000 per row. That would be 16,000. So iron ore is greater than 16,000. Uh, and we'll output a P. And then in here, what we have is if trains on the way is less than our requirement, we want to order an empty iron train. Um, and your name sucks. Let's change your name. You should be um, item equals iron or load um, load or we'll actually make it 01 because we are likely to get multiple of those ultimately. Uh, Standing or oh, we haven't made any requests yet. Yeah, we're still we're still building up, but this is going to be a nice supply once we get. Oh, we're probably out of the mineral sludge. Yes, we're basically out of the mineral sludge. Um. Okay, let's head back to. Uh, where we're making the mineral sludge and get that process actually happening constantly. And while we're there, we can look towards actually setting up this iron train. Um, I don't want to go to a specific station. I just want to come into there. Be out of the way. Now, can I build locomotives? I can. Can't build wagons though, I need some more iron. Okay, now I know I pretty much turned this process off. Um, you are the oxygen, okay, that's fine. How much oxygen do we have? We are actually getting quite high on oxygen, uh, <laughs> in a sense. <laughs> um, yes. What did we do? We actually turned the water off. So let's re-engage that water. So that this can fire up again. We should probably get the second column happening as well, but there's still a small amount of work involved with that. Uh, so I'm fine with the process just doing its own thing for now. Mineralized water has some capacity. Um, let's get that iron plate. So we can get an iron ore train. It's going to have to be followed up with the copper process being attended to in a similar way. Pretty quickly, now we're short steel. Now, oh, where is some steel? This looks a lot like steel. Um, so that would give us our iron ore train. Um, I do need some fuel for it because I don't actually have a proper fueling stop yet.
So I guess we'll come up to where we're trying to burn off hydrogen actually at the moment. Sulfur is there, that is a bit. So this whole area here is doing quite well burning off hydrogen right now. In fact, we probably exhausted the input. Close, close to it. Um, and we have barely backed up resource here. But if we clear all of that, one, two, three, um, that's enough for one train. We just put this train together over here. Hopefully this one doesn't pull out while we're doing this. Uh, there we go. And you can get... And I'll go and grab some more for the other. Uh, I've got far too much now, of course. Alright, um, now you are going to be the train that goes to empty, uh, circuit condition, and then go to supply and circuit condition. Um, in our typical uh, create a empty train concept. Um, I think if we go straight ahead here, we may even be able to tell it just to go and have it do it automatically now. Okay, that's good. So, the next step um, we're going to need quite a few of these slurry trains i may have to make another one or two um i may well get clobbered by a slurry train in the near future we set all this up correctly so it's over here trying to fill up currently. Uh, 25 and 14. But the slurry is being manufactured. Um, They're all putting it on the near side, and that doesn't... Oh no, some are putting it far. Or are they? Doesn't actually look like it is. Doesn't seem to be a problem though yet. Oh no, there is some being put on the far side. Uh, we have plenty of sulfuric acid. Um, we have plenty of purified water. So it's just a matter of time for this one to build up. 17. Um, obviously we need the other one online. Oh, looks like hydrogen has just taken off again. Oxygen is almost half full, so we're going to have to get rid of oxygen somewhere as well. We'll probably end up having to burn off quite a bit. Um, you need to have... Um, sulfuric acid. That should get you online. Um, uh, 
that should get these with the ability to come online if this was populated and if this had a way of getting over here um, which the second one actually looks to be the most challenging part of that uh, that's a dumb place for that Um, let's see if this can be made to work. Not sure that it can. Just a moment. Uh, and to continue. Okay, so this is a bit of a mess actually. Um, I have a red. Yes. Maybe that's what we target then. And you need some filters, which we just don't have any of. And I doubt I have the wherewithal to make very many. 31. I guess we can make 31. Oh, and the other thing is, of course, I disabled the, the water coming in here. But um, let's change that policy. Uh, where's your filters? There we go. You need quite a few when you throw them out on a belt. Get away with far less with direct insertion. Looks like there's a few more things that may need connection here. Uh, okay, that's all of those that I have. Um, purified water needs a connection. Ooh. That gives us purified water. The mineral sludge needs a place to come out. And the sulfuric wastewater needs to be able to be processed. Hopefully without an excessive buildup. So we now have two lots of these going, which also meant that a train took off for here, I think. Oh, it's right by us still. Um, oh, it must have already emptied and come back. So it is worth having a look what's going on here. We now have uh, we now have about a thousand and our sludge is present but um, dropping fairly quickly. This looks like these guys can't actually unload so I don't know what, uh, unless it's a function of these inserters not being fast enough, which it could be. Um, in fact, let's head up there and see what we can do about that. Um, oh, hydrogen is back. Shouldn't take it very long.
Okay, now we can jump into our train. Um, and we want to go to... Um, uh, what were we going to look at? We were going to look at the speed of inserters. Right. Because it looks like we're not dealing with this fast enough. These guys are not getting to run. All right. I don't know if that's true or not. Both of these should be able to run. Kind of telling me max rate calculator was telling fibs. In which case, um Do you mind? Bots off. Very, this one shouldn't get any work at all, but it seems to be getting some. Maybe this needs to be a yellow belt, just so uh, these guys do actually get used. We have more yellow belt uh, from about here, say. Uh, maybe you're not, you're just not actually getting enough. Mineral sludge. Very low again. I haven't actually done the maths on how many of these I need for that to be giving me, but I know I'm gonna to have to basically double it with uh, this crystal processing facility in here so it's not going to take as long to fill these as it looks like it does right now it certainly is a bit slow still we may even need a dedicated one or even two of these per each of these if these are in full flight which this is not exactly where I want to go, but anyway, it doesn't look like it's going to uh, fill that quickly tonight. Um, the amount of ore in each side is kind of balancing out a bit better, which is good. Um, yeah, you're out of the sludge again, aren't you? Don't know. Uh, 1.8k. Still a long way off. 25, 24. 25. So I guess it will give us some time because um, we need to make allowance for the revised 
version of this slot. Um, I'm just a little bit reluctant to start ripping it up until I know I've actually got iron ore able to come from over here. But, um, yeah. This should be constantly filling. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm already using level 3 machines. down here as well. There shouldn't be anything holding any of this up. needs a pump or something. Oh, it's off again. So you guys uh, back up to a reasonably healthy amount. Uh, but it's... Oh, no you're not. The train is stopped because we're up here. And this one is not signalled properly. Okay. Uh, we weren't even in the train. Um, in that case, let's see if I've got... Oh, I haven't got signals on me. Um, Alright, let's just get out of the way. I think we're basically coming to a halt here. This episode... Um, And I will look to be building, as I said, a crystal handling. Um, there's still quite a lot of building before we're going to have resolved our, our deficit. There is tons of hydrogen, so we're not clearing the hydrogen fast enough. And of course, the oxygen is virtually going to force this to a halt shortly as well. Um, mineralized water... Yeah, we may not actually be able to support a full crystal thing just yet. Out of mineralized water, but um, never mind. Uh, here we go again. Got about half one train. So four of these things would be supporting a train just going continuously. Guess. Anyway. Uh, enough of this conjecture. Thanks very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next. Bye-bye for now.